Good morning, beloveds. It's been a morning <laughs> for the, um, so the personal trainer that my husband and I see on Wednesdays, um, ended up, he needed to get his kids into school and he needed a uh, more stable job stuff going on. So he, um, and he has to leave before, before our training session would be finished. So he was like, you know, you schedule it. So from now, for now, uh, for a little bit, I'm going to get up at six o'clock in the morning on Sunday and go to the gym, meet the personal trainer, get my butt kicked, come home and then do this. Um, I have dropped the phone four times <laughs> trying to get this live stream going. Um, but, and as you can see, maybe you can probably see those ears, um, Foster has decided to join me today. So, um, yeah, my schedule is going to shift a little bit. So it'll be interesting. Um, all right. It is August 14th. It is Sunday. Uh, our title is Harmony. Where are you going to go? Uh, and our first quote is, a new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And that is Ezekiel 36, 26. The second quote, hi baby, um, we can so train our ears to listen to the divine harmony within that we shall re reproduce its melody, rhythm, and beauty in, our, in all our ways. And that is the Science of Mind, page 358. All of the abilities which we are endowed, of all of the ab abilities which we are endowed, one of the finest is our ability to attain harmony. Not only is it a beautiful word to speak, but it is also a beautiful attitude to feel and experience, to know and to be in harmony with our world, with other people, and with our God, is to have known defeat and victory, jealousy and trust, hate and forgiveness, passion and love, all the elemental contrasts of which our emotional nature is capable. When we are able to strike the happy balance between the storm and the calm of existence, we find that we have acquired and are blessed with harmony. In our daily contacts, we come upon those who exasperate us and antagonize us, for our own benefit, considering the lost hours and wasted effort, it would be better for us to eliminate such people and experiences from our lives or to change our attitude, attitudes towards them. Paul, the apostle, says, none of these things move me. It is also written, this too shall pass. To live and let live is a simple thing if we understand the unity and the oneness of life, recognizing that each of us is a unique expression Accept this truth and find harmony. God is harmony and complete balance. I am in harmony with God. The circuit is complete through me. Balance, peace, love, right action for myself and all others are at the center of every activity. All of my needs and all of their needs are met in a harmonious way without stress, strain or effort. Love sings joyously in my heart good flows through me. I permit the spirit within me to express itself in perfect harmony. And that is WM. One of these days I will remember all of these, but not that day is not today. Um, WM. WM. William Miller. William Miller. Sometimes I remember that and sometimes I don't. Okay, so harmony. <laughs> um, I was a musician for a number of years in while I was in school. Uh, I was basically in band from uh, from fifth grade to through high school. And the interesting thing about harmony is it's a whole bunch of different notes that kind of fit together. So I get where William is going with the, the you know, the victory, the, the, the emotional opposites there, um, because it is about finding, finding a balance between the two. Uh, and that's the cool thing. I, I liked how he said, what was it that he said, um, that one particular phrase about the calm of existence and, um,
the storm and the calm of existence, the storm and the calm of existence, uh, because frequently a whole lot of creativity comes out of the storm. Uh, so we need both in our lives. Uh, we, we need enough storm to stimulate the creativity and we need enough calm to rest. And that's what life is. It's kind of that, it's finding that balance, um, finding that harmony, finding a way to vibrate with what's going on around you. And I also appreciate that he said, well, there are going to be people that are going to antagonize us and there be the, the, and exasperate us. And so we either do one of two things. We either cut them out of our lives, which if they are harmful to our, our peace of mind and our physical, you know, then absolutely cut. We, it's okay to cut people out of your life. Um, but if they're not harming you, they're just exasperating you, then that's where you get to learn harmony. You get to learn to be the rock. You get to let their behavior not move you. Uh, and to find that harmony within yourself. To go, well, you know what? This too shall pass. And as I frequently will say, because the first time I said it to uh, the, the owner of the, the store that I work for, I said, this too shall pass. It may pass like a kidney stone, but it's going to pass. She about fell out of her chair laughing. Because sometimes things don't pass easily, but they will pass. It will get better. Uh, which is why we say... Um, in, in the end, things will get better. If it's, if, if things haven't gotten better, then it's not the end yet. There's still room to grow, room to be creative, room to find that ability to harmonize what's going on. Um, and if, if you look at the way when people sing, um, where they find the harmony, you know, you got one person who's singing at a certain pitch level, whatever turn. I was not in choir. I was in band. <laughs> And the harmony is the one that comes in and matches it. It's not the same, but it, it, but it, it matches, it balances, it sounds good together. And that's what life is. We're not all the same. That is the beauty of life. We are an infinite variety of expression and we are not the same. Therefore, it allows us this amazing opportunity to balance each other, to figure it out to create new and different things by mixing the harmonies, by mixing the harmonies. And that's the beauty of harmonies is that you really can mix them up. Um, okay. I'm just, I'm getting to the point where I'm finding that I'm wearing my glasses less and less. Um, it's so frustrating. So yeah, I'm, in, I think I have another week. Yeah. Uh, in two weeks, two weeks from Friday, I'll find out when we can schedule to have this other eye done. And then I may just quit wearing glasses altogether, which is not true. I'm still going to need reading glasses, but, um, we'll, we'll, you'll see less and less of them. I get, um, I started the workout in the gym today and then I just like, okay, you know what? I have to take the glasses off. So I took the glasses off, got through part of the workout. And then we hit that point where I didn't need the glasses, but I needed the sunglasses. So I just put the glasses back on. The, the polarized lenses help with the double vision. So, all right. A new heart will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you. That's the secret to finding harmony. Um, and uh, Ernest says it. We can so train our ears to listen to the divine harmony, which, let me remind you, is the point of spiritual practice. The point of spiritual practice, especially meditation, is to listen. And it is to listen for that divine harmony, bring ourselves into harmony with it, uh, that we shall reproduce its melody, rhythm, and beauty in all of our ways. When we match the divine harmony intentionally, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So that, again, the point of spiritual practice, especially the more listening parts of spiritual practice, i.e. meditation, um, that's we that's we go we go to listen to that divine harmony we go to listen to the rhythm we look at the melody and and bring that back and match it and match it not to replicate it that's not our job but to match it to bring it into balance in our lives so um i mean 
to know and to be in harmony with our world, with other people, and with our God is to have known defeat and victory, jealousy and trust, hate and forgiveness, passion and love. All of the elemental contrasts of our emo that of which our emotional nature is capable. We don't have to taste them to the fullest of their extremes, but harmony allows us to dip our toes in so that we can feel them, we can test them, we can go, yep, that's not for me. Um, but then we recognize it when we meet it in other people. And that that's one of the benefits of harmony. You know, if we've if we've tested it, if we've tasted it, then we recognize it in other people and then we can understand how to match them. Uh, it doesn't mean we have to bring to bear if they're feeling that jealousy or if they're feeling that hate. It, we don't have to bring to bear. But what we can do is bring a harmony to it and soften what their their emotional extreme. Or we do what he suggests later on and just cut them out of our lives until we're both safe to be around. Um, so, uh, but I like how he gives us the other things. If we cannot eliminate them from our lives, because frequently we can't, um, we change our attitudes. Uh, this too, none of these things move me. This too shall pass. Live and let live. You know, there are some things that we would not prefer that we can tolerate. Now, there are things that we would not prefer that we are not going to tolerate, which is harming other people. So therein lies, you know, some of where we can go with this. But can you live and let live? Can you um, know that this too shall pass? Can you know um, that none of these things move me? Are you in harmony? Uh, so I would suggest that. What I would suggest is the mission today is for those people that exasperate you and antagonize you, change your attitude. Pick one of these three phrases. None of these things move me. This too shall pass and or live and let live and try that out to come into harmony with them. Um, I, I was struggling with my job. And so that's exactly what I was like. I was letting somebody else's emotional baggage move me around. And so, and that's what I've decided. It's like, the, none of this will move me. It's like, I understand the level of pain that you are in, but I cannot respond to that pain with my own. So none of these things will move me. Um, it, it looked a little, it looked and sounded a little harsh when I first started, not to, not to this other person, uh, because that isn't going to get us anywhere. But it, it to me, it, it looked and sounded a little harsh, but it got me what I needed so that I could respond to this person and not respond to the pain. So um, none of this shall move me. I, it sounds harsh, I know, but try it. That is the mission today to change. And that, the, so that's why I gave you the three phrases. Um, it is about changing our attitude. This too shall pass. It may pass like a kidney stone, but it will pass. So, okay. So that is the mission today. The other mission is the same mission I give you every day, um, which is to do something loving for yourself, do something kind for yourself, do something compassionate for yourself, whatever it looks like. Doesn't matter. I just went out and stood in the rain for a minute um, and took, you know, kind of breathed in that moisture and that the gentleness of the rain. And it was really nice. You know, I'm sure it won't last for very long. It's probably already over. Uh, but it was nice. Um, I also uh, called in my my cuddle buddy to ask him to, to do the live stream. He, and he's sitting just off camera, so you can't see him. Um, and all of that is loving and kind and compassionate. And sometimes the most loving, kind, compassionate thing you can do for yourself is to say, none of this will move me. None of this will move me. To allow yourself to be rock steady and to find that divine harmony within yourself. Okay. So whatever it takes to do that, uh, three deep breaths, take a nap, take a walk, um, and make sure that you're enjoying things. As I say that it is a spiritual practice of loving, kind, compassionate, because you deserve your own love. You deserve your own kindness. You deserve your own compassion. The perfect person for you to practice all of that on is yourself. Um, you are a beloved child of God practice on yourself. It's a, but it's also about making sure that you're making time to actually enjoy your life. Um, we may not enjoy all of it, but we've got to be enjoying some of it. 
and the more of it we can enjoy you know keep moving that needle keep moving that needle all right so um and the divine harmony falls into that uh you know finding that balance within yourself so um make sure you're practicing create that bank for yourself create that default setting create that first response so that when you meet people including yourself who need a little extra you've got some to share okay um as always the, the the usual recommendations do something to engage your mind and your body unless it is your day of rest i have to pick a new day of rest and i don't know what to do about that my day my new day of rest may become friday so we'll see we'll see um which is probably a good thing um make sure that you drink plenty of water it is still blazing hot out there even with a little bit of rain that'll just make it muggy so please drink plenty of water um, and then, uh, get that early in your day, bright light, you know, reset your hormones, reset those circadian rhythms. You'll have more energy. You'll sleep better at night. It's science. Look it up. Um, and then open the windows of your soul. Allow the breath of heaven to remind you, you do live in heaven right here, right now. It's all around you all the time. Okay. Cause it's a state of mind. We talked about that yesterday. Heaven and hell, states of mind, states of consciousness, which means you can create them wherever you are because you it's an inside out job. So take Emma's advice and look for the good and praise it. All right. Um, that's what I know. We are going to have a really amazing service for you very soon right here on Facebook Live. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be up on YouTube soon. Uh, but you'll want to go to the Creative Life Spiritual Center YouTube channel because the Running Rev YouTube channel, that's where these go. Um, so... Follow us on the social medias. We are Creative Life Spiritual Center, Creative Life Spark. Um, and I am the running Rev Ryan on the YouTube channel or uh, on the social medias that I'm on. <laughs> so, uh, and if you want to know what's going on in the center, the book studies, uh, which you can drop in and out of the classes that are coming up, um, the events that we've got coming up, we've got a food market coming soon. Uh, all of those are in the email, constant contact. So email info at creativelife.org. The website is creativelife.org. Um, and the, the hot links are hot. They'll take you right to whatever it is that you want to know about. So um, yeah, that's what I know. So I'm going to encourage you to have a great day, an amazing day, a wondrous day, a fantastic day, a magical day, a Sunday. A good day. And if that is too much pressure, simply have a day. Because you are enough, just as you are. You are a beloved child of God. In whom God is well pleased and well represented. Always and forever. All right, beloveds. So, um, we are going to have an amazing service for you right here on Facebook Live very soon. Uh, it's 11 a.m. Central Standard. Uh, we then, Reverend David will be on around 5 p.m. with you. And I should be back with you around 9 a.m. All right, beloveds, take care of yourself, know that you are loved, and I will see you soon.